Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to reach this secret area called Purple Cloud Mountain here in Chapter 4 of Black Myth Wukong, so let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is make your way over to the Pool of Shattered Jade Shrine that's going to be found in the webbed hollow. And from this shrine, if you're facing it, you just want to go to the right and go around the back through this cave where you can see all these cocoons hanging down. And then behind the cocoons is going to be a much larger cocoon, and it's going to start giving you dialogue when you approach it. All you need to do is attack this thing. It's not going to attack you back. You just need to get it down to about a third of its health. And once you do, it's going to automatically cue a cutscene where the boss that is inside of the cocoon is going to drop out. And we're going to have a pretty fun uh, boss fight. Now you can see here, we're going to be facing off against Venom Daoist. And he's pretty easy here in this first section. You're going to end up fighting him twice. And for this first section, he only has one phase. So it shouldn't take you too long. And once you're able to beat that guy, we'll be able to move on to the next step. Now for our next step, we're going to head over to the Court of Illumination Shrine that's found in the Temple of Yellow Flowers. If you don't have this shrine, I just uploaded a video showing you how to find every single shrine here in Chapter 4 in order of the story. So You can use that if you haven't made it this far into the chapter yet. But we're going to turn around from the shrine and head outward. And then we're going to come over here and go through this gate. And what we're going to do is make our way up the mountain. So from out this gate, we're going to follow the stairs to the left. We're going to follow this path by hanging a right and just keep making your way up the side of the mountain. Once we get up here to the top, we're going to take a left and go up these stairs. And then we're going to take a right up these stairs and then a left. And this left right here is going to lead you down into a cave, which is going to be an arena for our second boss fight against Venom. So as you approach this area, it's going to cue a cutscene where he spawns in. If you didn't fight him the first time and win, he's not going to spawn here. So make sure that you do beat him in the first area. This time he's going to have two phases. First phase isn't too difficult, but once you get him down to about a third of his health, he's going to go into phase two and he'll have full health again. And this is a really fun boss fight. You shouldn't struggle too much with this. I was able to beat this on the first try and I'm kind of a moron. But after you beat this guy, it's going to cue a cutscene where he points at the wall over here. And as we zoom in to the wall, it's going to turn into a painting, which is pretty cool. So we'll show you that little cutscene. And once this wall completely turns into a painting and we have access to our character, we're going to walk over to it and interact with it. And all we're going to do is touch the wall and it's going to open up. And you're going to see this beautiful, amazing area here in chapter four. And once you step inside, we'll show you where to find the first shrine. It's not too difficult. You're just going to follow the main path here. And then when you make it around this bend, you'll see it pop up on your screen that you've made it to Purple Cloud Mountain, which is just a really cool area here in Chapter 4. So just continue to follow this path up the side of the mountain. We're going to go up the staircase here. There's going to be a snake on a tree that you can interact with. I don't know if you need to interact with it to continue on, but you can talk to the snake for a second. And then you're just going to cross the bridge that's right here next to the snake. Go through the doorway and just follow this narrow path. And once you make it out on the other side and you go around the bend here, right next to this bridge is where you're going to be able to find the first shrine in here. This is how to find the secret purple cloud mountain area in chapter four of Black Myth Wukong. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.